So it takes just a minute for this to open because it's an old game, but hello friends and welcome to Story Retold. Kalina here playing Siberia for the very first time blindly because I've never really paid attention to any walkthroughs before. So this is going to be new to me. I know there's a new game coming out in December, so I'm going to marathon the games. I own both. I own the games both on Steam and goodoldgames.com. Let's get started. New game. So this is how we begin. Okay, um, I guess this is my cursor. A ring. So this is highlighted. Let's check out this. Welcome to Valadeline. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. The world capital of mechanical toys. Okay. Let yourself be transported by the magnificent landscapes surrounding... Valla Deline. A small charming town tucked away in the Alps. I'm probably mispronouncing this every single time. And by Vorlberg Manufacturing, whose exceptional savoir faire in the specialized world of luxury mechanical toys and automatons is at the root of Valla Deline's reputation around the world. For 800 years, the Vorlberg family have has passed its knowledge from generation to generation perfecting the art of that particular branch of clockmaking that breathes life into the complex network of cogs and spindles that make up automatons. Its creative wonders once defied belief and drew the admiration of young and old alike. People would come across from across Europe for a chance to vie for the right to own one of these fantastic toys. Unequaled savoir-faire. At the heart of a mechanical automaton is its motor. A series of spindles are set in motion to music via a set of cogs. Attached to the spindles are cams, which are shaped in the image of the music. In turn, they command a series of rods, which control the gestures of the toy at their tips. So this is an example right here. So my arrow looks like this. What is this, the next page? Oh wow, we've got a lot to read. Maybe I'll just skim through it. Okay, uh, modeling mechanics and casing. 20 different specialized trades. Employed over 100 craftsmen, mechanics, watchmakers, sculptors, tailors, and dressmakers. Separate workshops. Wind this is the Vorlberg wind-up key. Okay, that might be important. Precious, precious resources such as ebony imported from Madagascar. Voral have a, come a long way from their simple jointed puppets of yesteryear. I 
don't read that. From the archives of the Art and History Museum, Luasain, Switzerland. Next page. Oh wow! Okay, that's that's creepy. I love the collar. It's amazing to think that what fashion was like in different areas and different places. Like, I could never imagine wearing a collar like this. It might be warm, but it looks scratchy. The okay, since the end of the Second World War, the destiny of the factory has been in the hands of Rudolf's daughter, Anna Vorlberg, the last and sole descendant of the prestigious line of craftsmen. Must be him. All right, so this button right here, this up button, I guess, is. Whoa, my cursor kind of goes into a wannabe magnifying glass, or it looks like a a U shape of some sort. We can examine the trunk. Or my I really don't have the strength to take this suitcase any further. I wonder who can help me. Oh, uh, oh, so this popped up. Oh, uh, I don't know what that means. So spacebar is a pause. Interesting. Um. But what about tab or shift or control? How about escape? Oh, here we go. Okay. Is that my cell phone? Dialogue notebook. Kate, help. Okay. Personal file. Advertising brochure. Oh, okay. Get in the hang of the controls. I can go to menu here. Okay. That looks like the exit. I don't really want to do that just yet. We should examine the front desk here, though. When was this game out? Oh, 2002? The button does nothing. Oh, it needs a wind up key. It looks like. I wonder if I can use the wind up key. I need a key. How do I manage that? There we go. Okay, now press. There are a whole bunch of keys back there, too. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Hello. Hi there. Hello there, ma'am. Could you possibly take my luggage up, please? Please do excuse me, Miss Walker. We have been neglecting our duties. Guests are so rare these days that we forget our manners. So you're the American woman? Is it true what people say? That you've come to buy the factory? Not factory. Anna's house. Hans' house. Excuse me? Would you quiet down, you mischievous little boy? <laughs> oh. I imagine our little town must disappoint you. You see, today is very sad for us. It's a day of mourning. Today is the funeral of Miss Anna. Oh, she died. Oh, sad, but... Hans not dead. Hans long way away. Anna told Momo. Anna liked Momo very much. That's enough, Momo. Stop pestering the lady. Now go on, scram. Get out of here, you hear? Oh. Well, he's not very nice to the kid. What was I saying? Oh, yes, Miss Anna. Such a great loss for Valet de Laine, it really is. Because now that she's dead, the factory will close. But you're here to stop that happening, aren't you? Our future is in your hands, Miss Walker. What? Anna Varlberg is dead? That's a wide walk he's got there. Here's your room. I hope you like it, Miss Walker.
Nice. I like it. I'll leave you to rest for the time being. You must have a lot of work to do. You know, the takeover of the factory is very good news for us here. It would make us very happy to see life return to our valley. If only you had seen Valadilen before. It was delightful. People came from all over the world to buy Vorlberg automatons. Ah, somebody has left you some mail, I see. Remember, if you need anything at all, we're not far away, Miss Walker. <coughs> nice. All right, here's that picture of him again. There are pipes going through the floor to ceiling right there. There's the bed. Here's my mail. Let's take a look. What is it? Let me put it in your jacket, okay. April 17th, 2002, to Kate Walker from Edward Marson, the law practice. The Universal Toy Company is eager to see conclusions from the talks. I'm a business lawyer? Oh, okay. It's a monopolized company. Edward Marson hired me. Oh, my family is talking about food. Nice. All right, so I guess that's my task then, huh? But I should tell Marson about the death of Miss Varlberg. I hope this isn't going to get too complicated. I can't see myself staying here too long. Uh, don't be so prejudiced about a small town. It's pretty cool if you get to explore it. Is this, are these just lights? Oh, I can direct her to go places. Is this- No uh... need to go down there. Oh, okay. Get in the hang of controls here. Is this the bathroom? That's the hall. Well, let me finish exploring the room. There might be something in here. I'm going to go talk to the boy. The boy might have information. Nothing there. Don't need to go there. Can, shall I unpack my suitcase? Can I do that? I don't need that for the time being. Okay, I need to find it. Oh, I've got a cell phone though, right? Let's see. Is that something we can alert him to? Oh, I can call mom. Let's call mom. She's busy. Mom is on the phone with someone else. Dan. Who's Dan? And Olivia. Well, let's call the office. Martin and Lamont, how can I help you? Can you put me through to Mr. Marson, please? It's Kate Walker. Hold the line, please. Hello, Kate. So tell me, how's the case going? I've just got to Valady Len, and there's a slight problem, Mr. Marson, I'm afraid. Mrs. Vorlberg is dead. Ah, that's most unfortunate. But I seem to remember we made provisions for just such a sad eventuality, and we know that there was no heir. Yes. That's right, but... So where's the problem, Kate? Contact the notary right away. I'll get my secretary to fax you his address and an introduction letter from the firm. Very good, Mr. Marson. Right. I gotta go, Kate. Keep me up to date, okay? I just... <sighs> hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't know who Dan is. Dan Foster isn't around to take your call right now, so please leave your message after the tone. Don't know. Let's call Olivia. Busy. Busy signal. Okay, fine then. Okay. Do I just put the phone away like that? I guess we should do some exploring then. Can I explore this room? 
I gotta find Momo. That's who I want to find. No need to go down there. Okay. Can I go in here? No need to go down there. Sure. A question for the comments down below. Have you guys played Siberia or any of the Siberia games in the series? I'm back again. Miss Walker? Um, let's ask about Hans. The young boy who was here earlier talked about, uh, uh, Hans. Uh, who is Hans? Uh, Momo was talking about Hans Vorlberg, Anna's younger brother. But he died a long time ago. Nobody here even met him. Momo says that he's still alive, but he's just gone. He's someplace else. I should talk to Momo about that. Who is the boy who was drawing here earlier? Is he your son? Heaven forbid. No, no, not at all. <laughs> he's not a bad boy. No, Momo is just a little simple, that's all. What is his connection with Anna Varlberg? Momo is what you'd call the village idiot, Aww. and Anna took him under her wing. He must have reminded her of her younger brother, no doubt. And uh, birds of a feather stick together, don't they? That's so You're rude. implying that Anna Varlberg was a little bit slow as well? Heaven forbid. No, no, not at all. She was a real loner. She kept to herself. That's all. Okay. I just love all these little mechanical robots. I've noticed there are tons of them here in Valadilen. Be careful what you say. Vorlberg automatons are not robots. If you want people to like you here, never ever pronounce the word robot. Uh, okay. Uh, what is the difference between an automaton and a robot, then? <laughs> uh, well, to tell you the truth, no one really knows. No one really knows the definition, the distinction between the two. That's did funny. you know Anna Varlberg yourself? Oh, why, of course I did. I, I mean, well, not really. She was a very great lady. We loved her very much. May she rest in peace. I'm just uh, making notes in my own notebook here. Did I talk about, oh, okay, let's talk about my mission. A fax didn't arrive for me, did it? Uh, Maybe. I thought I heard the phone ring. That's what the facts Do you think you might want to go and check? Certainly, ma'am. Immediately. Thank you very much. He's looking under the counter. Oh, awesome. Okay, great. So is she going to stick all inventory items in her jacket? It's going to get a little bulky here. To this isn't mine. To Maitre Alfolter from Edward Marson. As you are no doubt aware, our practice is charged with undertaking negotiations. <laughs> Left you instructions before death, enabling the sale to be concluded. Um, okay. Just give a warm welcome. Got Thank it. you. At your service. All right, I think that is all I can... Hello, my name is Kate Walker and... Of course, of course. Walker, room six, next floor up. Yeah, we kind of went over that already. I can't turn the page. To I'm going to go look around Valady Len. See you later. As you like, miss. All right, let's go over here. Let's examine what Momo was... Um, what was it he was doing? There's a cool clock. Great big elaborate fireplace. Um, there's something here though too. Is that a cigarette um, container of some sort? It kind of looks like it. What did I just take? A cog? Let's take the other one. It's right here. It's hard to see. I do like all the textures that are used in the in the scene in the in this building here. Oh, there's more pieces. Oh, look at the wood gray carving right here. 
There's one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think I have enough to place them in these spots. Let's see, I do have one, two, three, four. I'm gonna need two more. My family is talking about pie. Yum. Is somebody messaging me? There's so many people messaging me. Oh, people are taking care of it. Okay. So I mean, I need two. I should go find him about that. Is there any significance to this? Is there a hidden drawer underneath? Perhaps? Can't look at anything around here, huh? I mean, that's really cool that we got such creative freedom to walk around. For being a 2002 game, this is a point and click. Do I need my jacket before I go out? here or here. No need to okay, go there, go here. Wow. Oh, what details. This is very nice. Uh, let's go this way, to the left. I have no idea where Momo might be hiding. Can you go faster, Kate? <laughs> We've got a lot of ground to cover. Is that the factory right over there? On the right? No need to go down there. Really? No need? Why did the music change? Creepy. Can you run faster? No, holding shift doesn't do that. Okay. Have here. Okay, he's wound up. There's a lever. Can't click on the wind up anymore. If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. Something is missing? But what? He went this way. So I suppose we could go this way, but the bridge looks enticing. I wonder why they chose a ring. Wait, there's a door here. I came out of the double doors in the front. Examine everywhere. No need to go down there. Seriously? Maybe I should call uh, the office again. Oh wait, there's a guy right here. I didn't even see. Glad he was animated. Good morning. Good morning. What a pleasure to meet such a lovely young lady honoring our aging streets. Please, uh, please sit yourself down next to me so we can enjoy the air together. It would be a pleasure, but I'm afraid I don't have the time. Some other time, maybe. I hope so, miss. I remember when these streets were full of vibrant life. In those days, there was a charming encounter to be had round every corner. Ah, our good little town of Valadilen is not what it used to be. It looks like things have changed a bit around here. Our children have all left the valley. They need to earn a living, don't they? Can't really blame them. You have to move with the times, don't you? And it's not at the Vorlberg factory that they'll find jobs. <laughs> Being excluded from the world is not an easy burden to bear, believe you me, miss. But it's such a pretty little village. Uh, I can tell you're not from these parts. I hope you enjoy the pleasures that we still have to offer. Good day to you. I didn't catch his name, though.
Whoa, the point of view just totally sh shifted. 180, made it a little difficult to orient myself. I just need to pay attention to which direction Kate is facing. Wait, is this something important? No, it's just a leaf. Oh, a tower. See, nothing else of interest in this scene. We just have to wait forever for her to walk. I'm certainly hoping that we've got some form of fast travel coming soon, once we've like mapped out thing. Wouldn't that be nice? What is this place? Oh, that's where the, um... No point. It's locked. I'll come back when the funeral is over. Oh, that's right, the funeral. Okay. And so begins the long trek back. The mountains in the background are a nice touch. What country are we in again? Germany? Austria? France? I'm not sure. Oh, birds chirping. Well, it's a peaceful game, that's for sure. Where could Momo have gone? That's our home. I think Momo headed out out of the building, so where could he have headed off to? He's not going to let us go in here yet. We don't have a a missing part for this gate. No need to go down there. Go down? More like go up. Oh, oh, a patisserie. Boulangerie. No need to go down there. Okay. Let's talk to this guy. Smoke break? <laughs> Good morning. Are you open? Can I buy something from your bakery? No, afraid not. Not possible. We're closed. Yeah, but I here. can wait a while. You can wait, but we're closed all day. Day of mourning. I'm sorry. Please accept my condolences. Don't worry about it. Because of Madame Vorobolg's death, all the shops are closed. Mayor's decision. Try tomorrow. But I'm tomorrow I won't be here. That's a pity. It's an interesting change. No of need to go down there. Um, navigation now. It's now like a side scroller. No need to go down there. It's too bad. I like exploring all the shops. Wait, there's a paper right here. There's a door I should examine. Mourning the loss of the Queen of Our Hearts. 86 years old. A day of collective mourning. 10 a.m. at the par parish church, officiated by the town's own priest. <laughs> in the last decade, computers, video games, and electronic robots have become predominant in our consumer society, rendering traditional clockwork mechanisms obsolete. The age of the wind-up toy is over.
Okay. Alright, let's explore this door. My family is still talking about food. Wow. Um. Okay. <laughs> Are you trying to read something? Do I... Okay, so I'm supposed to put something in his hand, maybe? If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. Let's see, can I give him the... Let's put the newspaper in. Oh, he won't take it. There's an X through it. That won't work either. The cogs probably won't either. I don't know what to give him then. I don't know what to expect. <laughs> Strange. I don't even know what building this is. Let's go over here to the side door. No need to go down there. Really? Wow, we can explore a lot in this town. No need to go down there. Okay, well, where is the, uh... What can I do? It's very limiting. Oh, the camera's following her this time. That's... No need to go down there. Well, this is the end of the line. This is the last place I can go. Or at least that I've seen. What? It's locked. Well, all right then. Okay, well, oh, you're walking. I see I've got... Oh, I'm just gonna stop walking. Let's make a phone call to the office and see if we can't talk again. You have reached Martin and Walmart Associates. We're sorry, but all our lines are busy. Aww. Please call back later. Okay. So I have to click this to get over here. Alright, one moment. To turn the heater off. It was getting warm. All right, so we need something for this guy to read in order for the door to be unlocked. And we need a missing something or other for the gate to the factory. Let's talk to him again since he's along the way. We're closed. Try tomorrow. Certainly not anywhere that I have access to at the moment. Let's head back inside. Maybe I can talk to what's his name about. Greetings. A 
double door. All right, let's talk to him. I'm back again. Miss Walker? All right, these are just repeat conversations, right? Who is the boy who was drawing here earlier? Is he... Heaven for... What is his connect... Momo... You're implying... Heaven... I'm... As you like... I like that I can fast talk through that with an escape button. That's nice, because I've already talked to him before. Let's see what Kate has to say. If I try putting the pieces here... The medium cost. He won't let me place it. How about a tiny cog? No? It won't let me place them here. Okay. Huh. Well, I am at a loss. Return to game. I didn't mean to do that. Is there anything in this direction? No. No need to go down there. Interesting way of having to turn around, Kate. <laughs> no need to... Can't look at the pictures. Let me go to my room here. No need to go down. I don't need that for. You don't, huh? Okay, well, let's make some phone calls. Let's see what we can. Try mom. Is Olivia? We'll try Dan again. Dan Foster isn't around to take your call right now, so please. Hmm. Yeah. All right. I guess we're just gonna have to. Bumble our way around and try to get places. I might have to consult and walk through after all. Can I look in this door? <gasps> oh, it's a hallway. No need to go down there. I didn't even realize it. No it's need kinda... to go down. Fine, let's try No this. need to go. Really? So I can go down this hallway, but I can't do anything. Well, so that's the hallway. I can't go this way. What to do? Can I talk to him about anything new? I'm back again. Miss Walker? Can I talked to him about all of these things. I'm gonna go look around Valady Len. See you later. As you like, miss. All right, where did Momo go? Anything here? No. Is 
there something right here? Let's go talk to the friendly guy sitting down. Maybe he will have seen something? It's a long walk. Hello again. If you have five minutes to sit and talk, I could tell you a thing or two about the olden days. I am sorry. I, I really am in a hurry. Ah, uh, it is a pity. Okay, I can do something based on the walkthrough I just looked up. I should have tried the other papers that I had. Oh my goodness, I'm getting so many notifications. I'm going to turn that off. Introduction. Fax number two. That's what we were supposed to put in his hands. Well, I would have never guessed that. Walk, walk, walk. Lots of walking. I wish I had a map and could fast travel. I was surprised when I heard the new Siberia game was coming out. Because I thought microids, Anuman, um, ceased to exist anymore. Unless it's being developed by someone else. I haven't looked into it much, but I know it's being advertised on Steam. Oh, take. Okay. I can put that there. Oh, this thing's jammed. Oh. There we go. Progress. Oh. Oh, it's him looking for it. That's awesome. It's back in my inventory. Ooh, new environment. Wait, he's gone now. Hello, sir. Oh. Miss Walker, I presume. Have you had a good journey? Everything went very smoothly. Thank you. Do take a seat, Miss Walker, please. I guess it's this chair. I imagine you are aware of the business that brings me here. Of course. I was waiting for you. Oh, okay. Let's tell her about the mission. Uh, Miss Walker, I am afraid that the sale of the Vorlberg factory is not as straightforward as it first seemed. Whoa there. Everything was agreed. We'd obtained Anna Vorlberg's consent, and her death does absolutely nothing to invalidate that. Now, I have to be back in New York the day after tomorrow, Metro Alphotair. My client and I are impatient to seal this deal. I understand only too well, Miss Walker. <clears throat> there is a... an heir, Miss Walker. Excuse me? An heir? But Madame Vorlberg never married, as far as I know. And in my last conversation with her, she absolutely never mentioned this detail. Miss Walker, believe me, I was more surprised than you are. Anna Vorlberg sent me a letter two days before she died. Understand, Miss Walker, that had I known about this earlier, I would have informed you. I shall read you the document in my possession. I am so very old. 
It seems that today life is slipping away from me more quickly than I imagined, and I fear that I will not be of this world to sign the takeover contract for my dear factory. So, I must make this confession to you now. My brother, Hans, is still alive. It would not surprise me if you find this difficult to believe, but it is indeed the truth. You must remember his death, his funeral, too, even though you were very young at the time. It was but a sordid charade dreamt of by our father. To him, the very idea that his only son should wish to leave Baladilen and abandon the family business was unbearable. When Hans left, he preferred to think him dead and make everybody else believe this too. He obliged me to bear this terrible secret as well. I repeat that Hans is still alive, so when I die, it is he who becomes the sole and rightful heir of our factory. Okay, I see. If Hans Varlberg is not dead after all, then I just have to sign the contracts with him. I suppose you've already contacted him? Where can I reach him? The second half of the letter informs us that Hans Vorlberg is somewhere in Siberia. I will leave the document in your hands to read at your leisure. Anna Varlberg had no further information to add? Unfortunately not, Miss Walker. I have told you as much as I know. The situation, in legal terms, is now clear. If you want to conclude this sale, you have to find Hans Vorlberg. Apparently, there is a body lying in the town cemetery. There also seems to be some ghost wandering around Siberia. It seems you have your work cut out for you. Believe me, Miss Walker, when I say that I am most sorry for this regrettable setback. Most sorry. Great. What now, then? Perhaps you will find out more in the Varlberg factory archives. You will find the key in the waiting room. My role in this affair finishes here with the reading of this letter. And now, if you'll excuse me, I must rest. You see, my health is not excellent at the moment, and my doctor forbids me from working for too long. I will not detain you for any longer, Miss Walker. Do not forget to close the door as you go out. Goodbye, sir. Hmm. Interesting. Can't explore that. Can go where I came. This door, the side door here. No need to go down there. Is clickable, but I can't go there. Okay. So he says to grab the key on the way out. Ooh, let's examine this. I can't. Oh, okay. That's the approve. stamp and he stamps it. I can't press anything. I mean that will work but it's not wound up I guess. Oh what's this? I don't have something there so I wonder what if I uh, put the I can't put the kids out there. Okay I wonder if I'm gonna have to stamp something later. Let's put that away. Oops. Oh, here. All right, off we go. Slow but steady progress. This ways. I don't 
he's gonna be of importance later. Oops! Oh dear! I clicked out. Oh dear. I think I might have messed up the screen. <laughs> Look at this. I totally messed up the screen. Hang on. Will it address itself? There we go. Hello? Kate? Dan, I'm so pleased to hear your voice. How That's are you, honey? Did you have a good journey? Have you settled in? Yeah, it was long, tiring, damp especially, but I'm okay. Especially when you... Everything going as planned? Yeah, I mean, well, not really. It's not exactly what I thought it would be. You know, everything's so different here. Actually, while we're on the subject, I managed to free myself up tomorrow lunchtime. I'll come and meet you at the airport. I hope the flight from Paris won't be delayed. We're expected at the Goldbergs about 8 o'clock. I hope you have the time to take a shower and change, my poor honey bun. Hmm, Dan, I don't think the Goldbergs tomorrow night is really on. Don't worry, Kate. You'll be as perfect as ever. Anyway, you never have to wear much to look really great. Dan, Dan, I I'm going to have to extend my stay here. There's one or two complications. You understand? Kate, honey, what are you talking about? It's only a measly toy factory. The sale isn't going through as expected. I I've got to stay a bit longer. Dan, you don't mind, do you? Oh, I'm sure. But Kate, Katie, you can't do this to me. I mean, it's the Goldberg contract. There's millions of dollars on the line here. I know, I'm sorry. Hmm. You go ahead. Don't worry about me. I'll get back as soon as I can, I promise. Okay, I I I've got to go. I'll call you back soon. Love you, honey. Is it boyfriend? Husband? Okay, I think right here is where we're going to have to pause. And we've got to resume this for another video. So thanks for watching. And please comment your thoughts and your comments down below. And I will see you in the next video, okay? Okay, bye. Where's the exit? I can never find it.